you know, Saki plays worth it, and uh, I think it's practice. Um, and then songs like Destiny's Child and Sorry for the Wait kind of picks up the energy. Uh, I think Sorry for the Wait, really, the, you know, higher intensity kind of really helped Steph. Giovanni Ali, 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 Ali ride the beat. Then you have the kind of um, ominous vibe on on facts, which mm-hmm. now for me stand out track. Niaje sana kwa sana album reviews karibu sana kwa yet another album review shukran sana for your time shukran sana for being here with us na for checking out another album review thank you for the support kama ni first time yako hapa karibu sana to the channel karibu sana tu sana kwa sana tuko about to delve into an album review and as the video title inasema tuko about kuangazia kazi ya sichangi and in his soundtrack to a heartbreak sichangi ni a producer when ali make their waves <laughs> through ear wave <laughs> as part of the the group and the producer group and i'm a active through the years through collaborations through singles through kazi yao kama ear wave na pia kazi zake individually from hold on alafu to stranger things in the middle east and then to the project greatness the album alafu sai pia kuna another album na another project by Sichangi which need a soundtrack to a heartbreak that to go about to review a prolific a prolific producer na an artist generally to find the reviews our criteria kuna three aspects production na musicality content na themes alafu concept and the idea of a project uh it's not what i was expecting considering that the title is called a uh, soundtrack to a heartbreak i was expecting excessive lovey dovey stuff um still in yata and the other um i liked that that is not what i got uh first things first Um so when I was listening to last place and throughout or at certain points kwa kwa for the project nearly feel timing ya delivery yake ilikuwa a bit a bit off where he either says a, a statement to early or a bit too late kwa kwa kwa, kwa beat um I think it it didn't I don't know if it's worth it um where you don't need to enjoy flow yake um mm. yeah yeah on on what it took with um uh, Zenia Manase uh I think that's when I really started and en- en- enjoying his flow uh the writing is okay it's, uh nothing like mind blowing or anything it's pretty basic and straightforward there's, there's no um google about them <laughs> um uh, something you want to like confer with your encyclopedia or dictionary or whatever which you know is is fine if, if um it, it 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 does take away uh from the project but seek it when you uh nearly mind sana uh for me stand out for the project was the production and the features. I think this is one of the, the few projects where every feature only come through for me personally from uh Saki place with Karun but as always Karun always you know she she she's an amazing singer Zenia as well she's an, to you. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh Zenia she's a, an, an amazing singer as well. I even liked Steph which is interesting you see compared to the Hennessy cipher that we did mm-hmm. but I, I I enjoyed her her verse on sorry for the wait um I enjoyed uh Tayo on love you love plus um, you yeah love plus you I enjoyed Lisa. yeah I enjoyed you know, you know I, I, I have to say the best for last say the best for last 
I enjoyed ecstatic on um, low blows as well. Uh, production, you know, nice balance between you know the smooth and, and laid back type of feel on songs like um, you know Saki plays worth it, and uh, I think it's practice. Um, and then songs like Destiny's Child and Sorry for the Wait kind of picks up the energy. Uh, I think Sorry for the Wait really the you know higher intensity kind of really helped Steph Giovanni Ali 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 ride the beat then you have the kind of um, ominous vibe on on facts which mm -hmm. now for me standout track standout track has to be facts because first, first things first when you when you when you when you Lisa um, uh, approached the Apart the, the chorus and and, and, the, and the bridge, you know, and I choose, I choose Kui Kui deliver, kind of like a, you know, falling down the rabbit hole, mm -hmm. you know, with the Alice in Wonderland reference and and, and and how she executed it, it was it was really really good, uh, and then you know, uh, Sichangi kind of tops it off when he he comes in with 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 a, with a bouncy flow, um, again. The writing isn't like mind blowing because he repeats his verse twice. Um, but it's it's a it's a it's a it's a really really good track. Um, a standout one for me. I enjoyed it, but uh, especially I still similar to Lost in Motion. I didn't get the soundtrack to a heartbreak. Uh, I I don't know if I, and similar to uh, Lost in Motion, the title track is. The last song and similar to only oh, lost in motion again. Oh, lost in motion is a project by Jack Quill. Uh, We've done the review. Is in the two corner. Ah. I think to Ali upload that. The, the link is there. Uh, Ali, Ali upload Your side, your road. Before, so yeah. Uh, similar to lost in motion, it's ten tracks of Srika Wali. <laughs> Srik, Srika Wali, Wali Panga. But yeah, I didn't get the soundtrack to a heartbreak. I thought, especially with songs like uh, Saki Place, um, I'd get it, but then I think Saki Place and maybe it's a, yeah, I think it's just Saki Place that, that actually talks about um, about love. Um, I can I can I can see the heartbreak aspect when a song like Low Blows with with, 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 with ecstatic. Uh, you know, considering what, what, what that song talks about and uh, in Love Plus You as well. But throughout the project, you know, your string that ties everything together and makes you go, okay, I, I can I kinda get why you called the project what you called the project. I didn't really get it. All in all, I did enjoy it. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a fun listen. I think it was for me. It was made stronger by the features he used and and, and, and the people he worked with, and the fact that each and every one of them kind of came correct, which is very very rare, especially with with Kenyan projects. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, I think the fact that uh, you know nearly been up here, Ali balance singers and and, and rappers because you have Karun, Zania, and Lisa. And then you have uh, Steph, Ecstatic, and Ty Teo. Uh, I loved what Tugi did in soundtrack to Heartbreak. It was, it was it was the perfect ending to the album. I just uh, or EP or whatever this yeah, is. Yeah, I just wished um, it could make sense conceptually, or in, in the, the the concept could have been made more clear. Uh, yeah, but other than that. It was okay. Ini. So, so thank you for watching. <laughs> Ini yet another, as we've said, kwa review ya Lost in Motion by Jaquil, which to a few moments ago. Ini yet another deliberate project. And listening to these two hip hop albums, did you enjoy? na nilikuwa na feel fit sana that tumepata projects that unaweza you can say you've listened to and umeenjoy 
and actually if you're coming to do this review see see the feeling yeah yeah review a project at at 4 4:32 in the morning so nili nili enjoy the project and nixema ni deliberate that means that ni consistent that means that sound yake ni consistent with his instrumentals za hip hop ukona trap influences here and there ukona feeling ya R&B and soul and it all fits really well now the sound ni cohesive alafu pia the songs ni pana jinsi alizipanga one after the other the pacing na when the energy in a build kavile roja umesema kwa sorry for the wait na staff we with the ignition kianza and in in na pia hiyo feeling and it's short it's less than 2 minutes in a work perfectly sana hiyo hiyo energy in a come after after ingo my story are worth it mm-hmm. and 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 zinia ku akiimba akisema story how what on saka the truth and things he absolute get but then kuna sorry for the wait na iko na conviction and that builds father destiny's child but your conviction na idea dreams zake so the, the pacing of the songs the arrangement ili fit sana ili make cohesive and even moving from song to another you end up enjoying the project as a whole also the mixing and mastering ikikuja kwa consistency ni ni really consistent the vocal performances zina sit well into the soundscape of the entire project so for me pia niki the first time i knew sichangia kona project and from the title <laughs> nilikuwa na anticipate story ya love na heartbreak yeah. based on the title soundtrack to a heartbreak and i listened to it okay that's that's different so nearly understand in in two ways nearly understand the first layer ilikuwa the first meaning that you get ile kitu utatarajia kwanza ukianayo title soundtrack to a heartbreak na vile umesema unaipata kwa the title track which ni the last song that closes featuring two gim lamba and a play ana fanya kazi yake pale kwa guitar towards the end aki synchronize na hizo keys ili ili feel fit sana na strings pia layered on top of that ili fanya vizuri so such a track alafu love plus you alafu saki plays featuring karun when you those songs ziko na hiyo idea love na na heartbreak zote that kwa kako saki plays can't recall the last time we kissed, we kissed and you yeah. yeah. okay. so iko na the underlying idea in a come alive kwa hizo tracks na ziko spaced out the other layer ya soundtrack to a heartbreak that nearly peak according to my interpretation ilikuwa easy heartbreaking of emotion low blows for instance easy heartbreaking instances na heartbreaking situations za life so and how ana deal nazo so kiangalia venye kama ni sorry for the wait and idea za last place akisema hakuna msuku wa hakuna no in part on your back unajua hakuna ni yeah it's not love unajua last place and that starting off the album na ana get into your idea ya uki ukisikia uki idea kujaribu ku sell out arenas right and venues at the same time kuna 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 thought process ya police harassment that ana anasema kianza um, they, they pulled they pulled me over jua jua kwa black kuna hiyo juxtaposition ya hizi challenges lakini still kukuwa ambitious na kukuwa optimistic kuhusu dreams na vitu ana plan ku achieve and kuna kuna line alisema kwa ngoma fulani hizi kama niko practice ama niko sorry for the wait kuna ba, kuna ba alisema said they they are they are now paying me to be in places where oh, I wasn't well, they, allowed they, yeah wasn't allowed okay. get you get you yeah. get your money <laughs> get your money that that's a you need you need to floss at another level but uh, so kuna 
just ku, ku, ku emphasize that kuna hizo ideas za dream zake za mziki na where rap yake na mziki yake inaweza mpeleka na places imempeleka thus far na where ana foresee ataenda na vision yake so that as well alafu na general life experiences where is it dreams are concerned coincide za kiongelea yeye ku move to Cape Town alafu kutoa an album far away from home for example hiyo idea ya home idea ya belonging you see that coming through koi project at the same time uko na general life experiences na vitu wanapitia kama ni hiyo situation na makarao kama ni kuuliza if 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 just things are worth it but now father kwa low blows kuangalia experiences za life na story ya kutojua your parents alafu ni the long the alafu realize pia inaba kwa close na na budako kuna hizo hizo themes and then ecstatic pia na kuja na na story zake yeye na individuality yake na her personal freedoms alafu badai story za family unajua madhake kama ni ku pay for kama hawa alikuwa anajenga kila na nafit kwa kila kwa kila house kila home alafu pia anamaliza na ku reflect on personal experiences zake kama ecstatic so kuna hizo ideas hizo experiences za life that amepitia besides dreams zake that ni these songs are soundtracks too so kuna hiyo layer alafu kuna the layer nao ya ya heartbreaks nikisikiza nilikuwa na na feel that ame ame manage ku expand the idea ya what you'd expect here at Angelea with these different themes depending on how you interpret now the other thing that would make you think now ni kuangalia placement ya hizo ngoma za mapenzi and how they maybe lead to the other songs and how they tie so maybe do unaweza kwa angalia there is go spaced out differently but based on how this work is done you can tell that it's a deliberate choice vile amizia kama love plus you which fits kwa the same category of songs lakini pia hata kwa hiyo ngoma which nili appreciate versus zake mbili ni different from tayo zake aziongelei mapenzi anaongelea still dream zake while now tayo ndo ana focus on your idea ya they love you and then they leave you so si changi's interpretation anaichukua differently then tayo ana focus on watu kwa kwa life yako when wana wana kuhitaji alafu it's about time to delete you and then kuna a different approach kwa the other two verses so kuna the the themes different za za heartbreak but nili feel ali manage ku bado kuifanya cohesive kwa the project you can venye ni msema question how the love related songs fit into the piece na kule zina ingilia but still ni a cohesive thing na ni other layers onto onto the work and ni msema the the sounds upper they do him justice of course yani any producer ame manage kufanya kitu ikuwe ikuwe cohesive and kile umesema nikisikiza e project na the reason imesema ni enjoyable na nime fry kuisikiza ni because similarly no single feature is wasted yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of them count yeah it's rare man all of yani kila feature in account na everything that so feature na sema in account here yeah. that's impressive that's impressive and one near the next time it's deliberate you can you can tell from from karun to saki place zinia na what it kila and even how they sound and how they deliver how they sing how they approach it na pia kando na rapping si changi pia na get into instances kama ni saki place pia naimba kama ni ni facts pia kuimba for example low blows anaimba pia ana g express differently pia kwa those songs na on top of harmonies are the singers yeye pia anatumia voice yake vitofauti na kuna harmonies pia that anaeka so nili appreciate that 
na vile nimesema the fact that kila feature ili count the writing hapa ni direct yes ni introspective hakuna as you said nothing nothing over the top but ina na feel ina suffice for kile kile anasema yeah, yeah, yeah. as, as you said actually apart from uh, a few lines which we also talked about as far as parallels na lost in motion alisema how uh, i got the juice like to park so your reference in itself is, is a common and basic reference yeah. and an old reference so kulikuwa kulikuwa na hiyo now uh, the others actually ni, ni just a matter of phrasing ni yo i am not drake well, I'm, i'm not drake but sorry for the way ita makitu kama hiyo the, the the phrasing is is basic phrasing oh, ama they know ama they know that uh, i'm not beyonce yeah, but i'm listening this child yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a basic it's a basic bar it's basic phrasing kulikuwa na another bar sio kama ni kwa practice which i love the instrumental and how in a sound in a in a pair the space and it's an interlude and i and i go in and rap nili i enjoy kuna a bar on there akiongelea older people alafu as a young person na ali phrase akisema i can't recall the exact phrasing but it had to do with i had to do what with people over 40 to see someone under 24 like, oh no uh, it was uh, um, it, it was i think he was referring to audience yake it's like how he's getting people over 40 oh, coming to, to see or coming someone. to see someone yeah. so yeah. the fact and and nearly nearly penda ju yes anaongelea watu over over 40 but now ame ame combine to na tw0 now 42 uki flip ni 24 Yes. We are here we are here for such. We are here for such for such. The main thing that nilikuwa napitia nikisikiza the album ni while kuna kuna cohesion every feature unajua kuna some again kuna sometimes kusikia projects utatel levels iko different. Hii <laughs> utafeel kuna 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 discrepancies kila kitu ilikuwa ilikuwa level moja the only thing nilikuwa na an issue with ma about ni the overall the overall master ilikuwa low nikisikia sio kama ni mimi peke yangu but kwangu the overall master ilikuwa low nilikuwa na feel ingepandishwa levels kidogo kidogo tete nilipenda verse yake alikuwa na multis alikuwa na multis is it is and also pia nilipenda by Steph okay kick Steph to the ground na plant a seed so you can feel like deliberate and so many similarities na lost in motion but apa kwa destiny's child destiny's child na you like ni Beyonce when sijui kama ni because ali alisema ali mentioned Beyonce na the idea of Destiny's Child but now kwa some instances nikisikia nikisikia facts and the na 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 the delivery ili sound ya ka Beyonce for me so sijui if that was deliberate but in some instances ili sound ya ka queen b ecstatic singing I think it's probably the first time nikisikiza ama the first two times ili ni sound ya kama zini ya manase kama umesikiza soundtrack to a heartbreak ya sichangi tuambie kwa comment section your views kuihusu share opinions zako and layers uli 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 peel ukisikia ikikuja kwa the theme a comment section na feel free pia ku subscribe to the channel kama ume enjoy the content like pia the video tafadhali na asante sana for your time